Well, good morning, Beaver Dam. It is Pastor Owen coming to you live from Beaver Dam and Rousey's Chapel. And today is uh, Wednesday, June the 16th, and you're joining us for our time of reflections. This is the time where we gather each weekday morning to, uh, to read some scripture together and to pray and to reflect upon the scripture. And I'm happy that you're joining us. It is a beautiful day here in Beaver Dam this morning. We've got the window open. It's a little cool outside. And it looks like it's going to be one of those perfect, perfect springtime days. Uh, so uh, if you happen to be joining us live or throughout the day, drop us a line in the comment box. Let us know that you're there. It's a great way for us to stay connected as the church body. And um, let's see what we've got going on today. We are uh, delving, we are using the Revised Common Lectionary as, uh, as our daily readings. And uh, today we've got a little piece from, we have one of the Psalms and then a little piece from the Gospel of Luke. I see my mom is joining us this morning, and I I would be neglectful if I didn't wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. I know this is a, a good day and a day that I'm glad that you were born, so absolutely. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, delve into our scripture this morning. Our first scripture is uh, Psalm 54, and this is some of David's instructions. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what the psalmist has for us this morning. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible. God, save me by your name. Defend me by your might. God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words of my mouth. The proud have come up against me. Violent people want me dead. They pay no attention to God. But look here, God is my helper. My Lord sustains my life. He will bring disaster on my opponents. By your faithfulness, God destroyed them. I will sacrifice to you freely. I will give thanks to your name, Lord, because it, it, it's so good and because God has delivered me from my distress. My eyes have seen my enemy's defeat. Wow, oh, such good, good words this morning. And then uh, our reading from the gospel this morning is the gospel of Luke. It's chapter 6 and just a couple of verses. It's 43 through 45. A good tree doesn't produce bad fruit, nor does a bad tree produce good fruit. Each tree is known by its own fruit. People don't gather figs from thorny plants, nor do they pick grapes from prickly bushes. A good person produces good from the good treasury of the inner self, while an evil person produces evil from the evil treasury of the inner self. The inner self overflows with words that are spoken. Some good, good, good words from Jesus there this morning. Well, good morning, Martha, and good morning, Dick and Nancy. So uh, let's go ahead and take a few minutes to uh, prayerfully reflect over the scripture. And as you do this morning, I invite you to focus on uh, this part from the psalm. God is my helper. So let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. God is my helper. God is my helper.
God is my helper. God is my helper. Amen. Amen. So we're using our Wesley Study Bible for the notes, and uh, the notes for this couple of verses are uh, are a little light. So uh, we'll see we'll see what we've got here. Uh, the prohibition against passing judgment is not based upon an inadequacy of human knowledge. In fact, we often can recognize sins in other people. We are forbidden to judge others because we concentrate upon inspecting our own lives and because unforgiving words are spoken from the heart that abounds with evil. So uh, that's kind of what we've got uh, got there this morning. You know, the text from Luke today comes from a part of the of the gospel where Jesus is teaching folks how to behave like the children of God. He speaks in the the section right right before this one about loving your enemy, not judging people, and the power of forgiveness. And in these two verses that we read today, Jesus is, or these three verses that we read today, Jesus is reminding us that our speech and actions really reveal our true underlying beliefs, attitudes, and motivations. That the good impressions that we try to make cannot last if we are being deceptive. No matter how much we try to cover it up, it's what's in our heart, our true being, that will eventually come out in our speech and behavior. You know, I really appreciated uh, the message translation of these few verses, and I want to take just a second and read, read them to you. <laughs> From the message, you don't get wormy apples off of a healthy tree, nor good apples off of a diseased tree. The health of the apple tells the health of the tree. You must begin with your own life-giving lives. It's who you are, not what you say and do that counts. Your true being brims over into true words and deeds. I just, uh, I just like that, that imagery there. And that uh, leads us to our reflection today. Are people seeing your true, the true you through your words and actions? Are people seeing the true you through your words and actions? Just a thought to reflect upon on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Well, friends, uh, let's go ahead and prepare to take on the day, but before we, before we part, let's, uh, let's spend a little bit of time in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for another just absolutely gorgeous early summer day. God, we thank you for the sun that is shining, for the birds that are chirping, and for all of the flowers and plants and new life that we see around us. God, we thank you for all of the blessings that you pour out upon us, the blessings of health and happiness, and just being joyful. 
God, we also ask this morning that you uh, continue to inspire and guide our true self and let our words and actions be a reflection of your love for us. God, we ask for all of these things in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Well, friends, I hope you do get outside and be are able to enjoy this uh, beautiful day. And uh, remember that this is a day that the Lord has made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. Go in peace. Bye for now.